Hey everyone, good morning. It's day number four, and today we're going to Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna show you guys what I decided to wear. I wore this sweater from Forever 21, and it has cutouts in the back. And then I'm wearing these Levi jeans that I got from Target. And then I'm just wearing my Juicy Couture shoes again. And then I have my mini ears, and I got these ears from when I was four on our first trip. So yeah, we're gonna head to um, Hollywood Studios now on the Skyliner, and I will see you guys when we get there. We just got off the Skyliner to go to Hollywood Studios. Um, it's a line, but it, it's, a, it's going pretty fast, so we should be on the Skyliner quickly. We are now arriving in Star Wars land. We're heading to the Oga Bar now. We are in the um, bar now, Oga's, and it looks really cool in here. The table like lights up, and there's the bar. It's really spacious in here, so they did a good job with that. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what drink I get and what it tastes like. This is the carbon freeze, it looks so good. We just got out of the bar, the drink was really good. It basically just kind of tasted like Powerade, but the dry ice did the effect the whole entire time I was drinking it. And the pearls were good, they taste like green apple. Everything was really good, everybody enjoyed their drink. My sisters made her mouth numb, but she said that was the point of the drink, so. But yeah, everybody enjoyed it. But it basically just kind of tasted like Powerade, but the dry ice did the effect the whole entire time I was drinking it. And the pearls were good, they taste like green apple. Everything was really good, everybody enjoyed their drink. My sisters made her mouth numb, but she said that was the point of the drink. Right now we're in line for the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway, and we're super excited because we've never done this before. It's supposed to be a 60 minute wait, but I'm gonna keep a timer on it to see if it really is 60 minutes, or if it's not. We are in the um, inside building, where really, really close to the front, and it's only been 40 minutes. So I think we'll beat the time that they estimated, for sure. We just got done with the Runaway Railway. That was super fun, we'd never been on it before. It had a lot of cool new technology things that they had going on. It was like, um, the track was not really even there. You could barely see the track and it split us all up into different, um, you start in a train and then it splits you up. It's super fun and a great use of the new technology. I can't wait to see what Disney does more with that. I heard Ratatouille is gonna be similar, but I'm not sure. But now I think we're about to either go to Tower Terror or Slinky Dog. Both ways for Tower Terror and Slinky Dog are 65 minutes, so I'll let you know if it, we really have to wait that long. We're in line for Slinky Dog right now. We just got the Rise of Resistance. We just got a boarding pass. We're boarding pass number 142 and 143. So we're gonna hope to be able to get on it before the park closes. They say on average, they usually do get above that. So hopefully we'll be able to ride that ride because this will be everybody's first time. And my sister has tried four times and has not yet to get it, but today we finally did. So hopefully we'll be able to ride it. But I'll let you guys know if this wait is super long or if it's the normal um, estimated time or even if it's before the estimated time. It was supposed to take us 65 minutes, but we got here in 50. We're already at the front, about to get on the ride. We technically said 70, but we got here in 50 minutes, so yay. Lunch, we decided to stop at the ABC commentary. My mom got a grilled cheese with apples and then a small water. So she got the kids' meal. And then I just got the um, buffalo chicken grilled cheese with fries and then a lemonade. So it should all really be really good. I'll let you guys know. The grilled cheese was really, really good. It tasted just like buffalo chicken dip. And then the sauce made it better that they have on the side. And the fries were good too. They were hot. I decided to get this oatmeal cookie from Backlot Express for dessert. It's like chocolate on top. I just tried it. It is pretty good. It's not as soft as a Little Debbie's or something, but it's pretty soft. 
Yeah, so now we're on our way to go to Toy Story Mania and ride that ride with my sister and her um, boyfriend and his family. We got in line at 2.55 and it's 3.16 right now, so it took not that much time for us to get here. It was pretty fast. We were basically moving the whole time. Me and my mom have never done this before, so this will be super fun. It's going to be, my sister said that it is better than Magic Kingdom ride. Me and my mom are about to go to a couple shops because we just finished the Toy Story Mania. And my sister and her boyfriend and his family are going to uh, uh, Star Wars because they wanted to look around and explore it a little bit more. I've never really seen any of the movies, so I'm just gonna let them enjoy that. But yeah, we're gonna go over to Tower Tier and stuff, look in the shops and just look around, maybe ride a ride if it's not long, but just look around mostly. So we just got off of Minnie and Mickey's Railway because we did it again because I didn't get a good seat the first time. And so I was hoping the second time we did, I was gonna get a good one and I did. So we did that to kill some time because we knew that after that ride, since it was a 30 minute wait, we would know we could get on the rise of the resistance. So now we're waiting on my sister and them to come from their ride because in probably like five more minutes, um, they should have our boarding number up there. So we're, this is gonna be such a cool experience. None of us have done it and it's supposed to be really, really long and, um, and very interactive. So yay, I will see you guys um, when we get near the ride. So it took us 30 minutes to get on the um, Star Wars ride and it was really good. Um, but now we're in line for Tower of Terror. It is 635 and the park closes at seven. So hopefully we'll be on the ride before the park closes, but I'll keep you guys updated. We got off Tower of Terror and it's now like 7.50 and we have to go to the Yacht Club for our reservations, which were at 7.55. I think they give you wait time between, but we're kind of trying to get there before that, but I don't think we will because we're waiting on the boat right now. Cause that's the only way to get to the Yacht Club like, like that compared to like going on a Skyliner then having to go to Epcot then having to go walk to the yacht club or take a boat or something so yeah um i'll let you guys know when we get to dinner we just got to allen compass in the yacht club um hotel look at this beautiful tree it has like little sailboats and stuff that's so adorable i love it originally the wait time on the app it's been glitching it was supposed to be five but um they said it was 20 minutes actually not five minutes anymore so we will have to wait 20 minutes we did miss our reservation but they're able to still get us in um, we didn't plan enough time in between the boat ride and everything. We didn't realize that was the only way to get over here in a fast time. So yeah, I'll let you guys know about dinner and how it was and what we did. So I got the Vermont and Cheddar Bacon Burger, which looks really, really good. It's got mayo, lettuce, <laughs> tomatoes. Looks delicious. And then I got some fries with it. And my mom got the buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken flatbread, which looks really good as well with barbecue and stuff. So yeah, this is also good. They said the bread service was good that they bought for appetizer. I didn't try anything because the last few nights I haven't been eating my dinner and tonight I want to eat my dinner. So yeah, this is great. Hey guys, so we're back in the hotel room. Um, we just came back from dinner. It was really, really good. The burger was so delicious. My mom liked her food and then my sister, her boyfriend and his sister all really enjoyed the New York strip. My sister said it was the best one that she's ever had. And then his mom really enjoyed the pasta dish as well. And then after dinner, we didn't have anything else to do because everything's closed. So we walked back to Epcot and took the Skyliner to Pop Century. And yeah, so that's, we just finished out the night now. I hope you guys really enjoy my vlogs and I hope you're enjoying yourself while watching these. I hope you guys come back and I'll see you guys on day number five.